Hi, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplify Guitar, and I wanted to try to figure out if it was possible to play through an entire song without using any chords, just for fun to see if it was possible. And shockingly, what I found out is not only is it possible, there's actually quite a handful of songs that you can play without needing to touch a string. Now, when I was originally considering trying to play songs with no chords, I was initially drawn to these seven songs because I already have tutorials for them. And traditionally, they only use two chords, the first and the fifth of the scale. So for instance, that would be the C and the G chord in the key of C, or the E and B chord in the key of E, or the G and D chord in the key of G. So I figured if I was gonna make this work, then starting with songs that only use two chords is a good place to start. In fact, I've done lessons with my own kids, teaching them some of these songs using only one finger chords for C and G. Now to play one finger chords for a whole song, the only way it works is for the song to only use two chords and you have to only strum the bottom three strings and avoid the E, A, and D strings. But even still, these songs with two one finger chords prove to be a fantastic introduction to guitar for kids and get them playing the guitar straight away. But I wanted to push this idea even further and remove the use of fingers altogether. And immediately I knew the only way to get this done would be to use an alternate tuning. Now when it comes to alternate tunings, there's only really so far you can go because if you tune too low, uh, the strings are going to be so loose that they'll, they're going to rattle and it's going to be very, there's going to be a lot of chattering sound as it slaps up against the frets. Also it's going to be really hard to keep it in tune when the strings are too loose. But then if you tune too high, you run the risk of snapping a string. What I eventually settled on was keeping the low E string as the low E, and then tuning up my A string to a B. And then I could play the songs in the key of E and have that E and B transition. And I've got my two lowest strings set to play those root notes. And then I tuned my D string up to a D sharp. And that gave me the major third for the B chord. I tuned the G string up to a G sharp. And that gave me the major third for the E chord. And I kept the high B string as a B because that is going to be my fifth for the E chord. And really that's the essentials. I could play the songs like that. But I also tried to tune the high E string up to an F sharp and that was pushing it a little bit. I felt like I was gonna uh, pop the string. But by tuning that high E string up to an F sharp, that gave me the fifth of the B chord. So by doing that, I could play the triads for both the E chord and the B chord with the strings in their open position. Now, in order to pull this off, I have to do some finger picking so that I just pick the three strings of the E triad when it's calling for an E chord and just pick the strings for the B triad whenever I'm supposed to be playing a B chord. But when I tried this out, I didn't really like that high F sharp. So instead, when the song called to switch to a B, I would just play the low B string, the D sharp, and the high B string. But I noticed that it was very important to have that major third for both the E and the B. The song really didn't sound right without that major third. So it was important to find a string to tune to the major third for each one of these chords, the E and the B. But in the case of playing the B, it was okay to remove that fifth for the B and just play two Bs and the major third. I also noticed when I, the first time trying to play around with it, that the guitar suddenly sounded like a harp because there was no, uh, there was no sliding, there was no, uh, finger movements at all, muting any of the strings. And that was really cool at first, but when I tried to sing the songs with it, uh, it was just, it was too much notes going on and it didn't sound very clean. So what I ended up doing was adding a little technique while I was finger picking. Right before I would switch chords, I would basically do a palm mute right before I would pluck the next chord. If I was switching from an E to a B, right before going to the B, I would mute all of the strings with the palm of my hand and then pluck that root note for the next chord. And that eliminated the sound, it, it, it muted everything, so I could start over with the new set of notes. And that made the songs just sound a lot more clean overall. So why don't you take a listen to how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments and maybe you have some other suggestions on some other tunings that can get a similar results.
but a dream. All right, I hope you found this somewhat interesting. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care.